Nail art, a form of self-expression and creativity that adorns the nails, stands as a testament to human ingenuity and aesthetic appreciation. This essay delves into the evolution, techniques, cultural significance, and the modern interpretation of nail art, highlighting its role not just as a beauty trend, but as an art form that bridges cultures, epochs, and individual identities. Nail art's origins can be traced back to ancient civilizations, where it served as a symbol of social status and cultural identity. In ancient China, during the Zhou dynasty around 600 BC, royals wore gold and silver to signify their status, evolving into the use of nail polish where colors were indicators of hierarchy. Similarly, in ancient Egypt, the use of henna on nails distinguished social rankings, with Cleopatra famously preferring deep red hues, signifying her royal status. These early examples underscore nail art's deep-seated cultural and historical significance, illustrating its role in human expression and societal structure. Over centuries, nail art evolved in tandem with advancements in materials and techniques. The 20th century marked a pivotal era for nail art, with the invention of the modern nail polish. Innovations such as the French manicure in the 1920s and the introduction of acrylic nails in the 1950s further expanded the possibilities for nail decoration. Today, the repertoire of nail art techniques is vast, incorporating airbrushing, stamping, 3D designs, and the use of accessories like rhinestones and stickers. This evolution is not just technical but also aesthetic, reflecting changing beauty standards, fashion trends, and cultural influences. Nail art transcends mere decoration, it is a medium of cultural expression and identity. Different cultures have adopted nail art to signify various cultural, religious, and social meanings. For instance, in India, nail art has been part of traditional bridal beauty, incorporating intricate designs that match the ceremonial henna. In the Western world, the punk movement of the 1970s and 1980s saw black nail polish as a symbol of rebellion. Meanwhile, the Japanese nail art scene, known for its intricate and bold designs, reflects both traditional motifs and contemporary pop culture. The global proliferation of nail art also highlights its role in cultural exchange and globalization. 
With the rise of social media, nail art trends and techniques rapidly spread across borders, fostering a global community of enthusiasts and artists who share, innovate, and inspire each other. Today, nail art is recognized as a legitimate form of artistic expression, evident in its presence in fashion runways, celebrity culture, and social media. It's a dynamic canvas for personal expression, allowing individuals to showcase their personality, mood, and style. The rise of DIY nail art, facilitated by tutorials and the availability of professional-grade tools and materials, has democratized this art form, making it accessible to a broader audience. Furthermore, nail art has become a significant industry within the beauty sector, with salons specializing in nail services and brands continuously launching innovative products. This commercial aspect, however, does not detract from the artistry of nail art, instead, it underscores its widespread appeal and the skill required to create intricate designs. Nail art is more than a beauty trend, it's a form of self-expression, a cultural marker, and a testament to human creativity. Its history is rich with significance, reflecting societal norms, cultural identity, and individuality. As nail art continues to evolve, it remains a vibrant platform for artistic expression, cultural exchange, and personal storytelling. From ancient times to the modern digital age, it has served as a mirror to societal changes, trends, and values. As an art form, it challenges traditional notions of art and beauty, inviting us to reconsider the significance of the everyday canvas at our fingertips. Nail art, in its essence, encapsulates the human desire for beauty, communication, and connection, making it a fascinating subject for both aesthetic appreciation and cultural study. The human skin, the largest organ of the body, serves as a critical barrier protecting us from external threats and playing a vital role in our overall health. Its types vary widely among individuals, influenced by genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. To understand skin types, one must first grasp the basics of skin anatomy. 
The skin consists of three primary layers, the epidermis, outer layer, the dermis, middle layer, and the hypodermis or subcutaneous tissue, innermost layer. The epidermis, the layer we can see and touch, plays a crucial role in determining one skin type due to its texture, color, and oil production levels. The classification of skin types has evolved over time, with the most recognized system being the Fitzpatrick skin typing. Developed in 1975 by Thomas B. Fitzpatrick, this classification initially helped to understand skin's response to ultraviolet UV, light. It categorizes skin into six types, I to 6, ranging from very fair, type I, to very dark, type 6. This system is instrumental in dermatology to predict the risk of sun damage and skin cancer. Human evolution is a captivating saga that unfolds over millions of years, tracing our species' lineage from primitive ancestors to modern Homo sapiens. This essay embarks on a comprehensive exploration of this remarkable journey, delving into key milestones, significant species, and the evolutionary forces that shaped the development of Homo sapiens. Our evolutionary journey commences approximately six to seven million years ago in Africa, where our ancestors diverged from the common ancestor shared with modern chimpanzees. The Australopithecines, such as Australopithecus afarensis, e.g., Lucy, represent the earliest known hominins. These bipedal primates walked upright, but retained ape-like features, inhabiting diverse environments across the African continent. Around 2.5 million years ago, the emergence of the genus Homo marked a pivotal juncture in human evolution. Homo habilis, characterized by its stone tool technology, signifies the dawn of the Homo lineage. These early toolmakers demonstrated increased cognitive abilities and adaptive flexibility, reflecting the evolutionary trajectory toward larger brains and complex behaviors. Homo erectus, a species renowned for its remarkable migration out of Africa, expanded its range across Eurasia over 1.8 million years ago. This dispersal underscores the adaptive prowess of early humans, who successfully navigated diverse environments and climatic challenges. The archaeological record reveals innovations in tool technology, fire control, and social organization, highlighting Homo erectus' capacity for cultural adaptation.
a country's standard of living generally depends on the size of its national income. Standards of living are measured by such things as the number of cars, televisions, telephones, computers, washing machines, and so on, for every 1,000 people. Approximately 200,000 years ago, Homo sapiens emerged in Africa, marking the culmination of our evolutionary journey. Homo sapiens distinguished themselves through sophisticated tool technologies, artistic expression, and symbolic behavior, reflecting cognitive innovations and cultural advancements. The advent of language, complex social structures, and symbolic artistry exemplify the cognitive, and behavioral hallmarks of modern humans.